I am the god of inexhaustible blood, and I shall have my way. What he said, hello and welcome in another 15 turn guideline, and this time for the first time I'm doing it for a vampire counts, and Manfred is first. Last two weeks I've been quite sick, so I spent a lot of time with Manfred, I think I did this campaign around 5-6 times, first 30 turns. So yeah, I this campaign is, is tricky because if you're a you know good player if you, i mean good player if you're good at fighting versus you know not really friend uh, you know good odds you can do so much with this this in this campaign within 15 turns but i'm trying to help the new players so i'll tell you in the meantime i mean do, do, while doing it i'll tell you what you can do at certain time that will be good Okay, but let's start with Lamian, Book of Blood. Blood Kiss and Grove plus 10. Why not? Tough. Ooh, that's kind. I like him tough. And Upkeep Hero's Army. Hmm. Okay, what you can do is get yourself some... Some crap. Just, you know, just to get yourself this... Is necessary for necromancer and my guess is not build this because you don't really need turn uh, minus one turn and income plus 300 is yeah it's okay but you're gonna have it eventually I would say go for this you may think I'm dumb but this will there will be time for this and this costs less and gives you control which you can just not give a fuck about stuff Okay, I'm gonna get also a zombie, because, yeah, I'll show you. So first battle is very tricky, and I want to show you why. I mean, we could auto, but obviously don't do it. They have a Usharti Great Bow. So what you should do is pretty much go with zombies. There, were, there is a massive hill at the end, at the middle. Is it, though? Okay, it's different. Usually there was a like a, a massive tit on the middle of a map and all I had to do was just... But if it's not a tit, then just bring zombies to the op, uh, to, to point where a shout can reach you and just circle around. Don't worry if you die. Th these are zombies. If they use waste ammo of a shout on zombies, which they will, you're winning. Oh, I was hoping for something better, but yeah, look, Shabti did so much damage to zombies. <laughs> and obviously get, oh, if I'll take replenishment, yeah, take replenishment, whatever. I didn't want to resurrect it, but eh, whatever. And first, you should take hunger, so next battle is going to be easier for, for many. So he'll heal. I'll take yeah, you. Up to you if you want to fight manually or not. I will. Not. Because it's just zombies, you know. Uh, here, occupy. Don't bother loot and occupy. Don't don't cause any any problems, because then you can do it this and build yourself right away gemstone mine shaft, which is good. Keep growth for tier three. And restless dread. What? Yeah, restless dread, which is movement and melee defense always, so you don't suck. Hmm. Don't sign up any 3DC yet, because uh, better wait with it a little bit longer so either Volkmar or Camry won't get pissed so fast, you know? Uh, 
yeah, don't recruit anything. And that's pretty much it. Quite simple turn one. Okay, let's go to Antil. There is obviously a lord. Don't worry. Foolish mortal. Uh, let's see. Oh, just the same thingy. You can auto resolve that. Yeah. No biggie. I mean, oh, we can recruit skeleton warriors, it's alright, spearmen. And for many, Invocation of Nehak with Curse of Undeath gonna be okay for now. Oh my god, he has such a good talent in blue line. Yeah, you wanna have a healer and raise dead as soon as possible. So all these talents matter. Yeah. Next turn we're gonna have Necromancer. That's it. Okay, let's go to Bagar. We can recruit three more skeletons. By the way, uh, commandment obviously set up for growth. You want to do it, you're going to have a good time. Uh, and here's the, here's the breaking point, like crossroads, let's call it. It's a wonderful time to go for Suddenberg. It's a best time to get Volkmar when he's weak, doesn't have Mortis engine, nothing like that. It's amazing time. And I would say go ahead right away for it. You're gonna have a good time here. My safe way is either go for these or go get these ones as a vassal. Which is gonna be very good to have like a meat shield and get break Camry. When you break Camry, you 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 can go back to Suddenberg. So this is quite important situation and you need to pick it up. It's also a moment where you can go to Orion's camp. It's gonna be hard, but it's doable. So depending on your level. It's what you can do. However, you're gonna lose a lot. They have so much shooting, it's gonna be painful. That's why I came out with a different strategy, which unfortunately, Suddenberg, uh, you know, Volkmar, the great cult of Sigmar, are gonna be tougher. But you're gonna have just overall better time. So my suggestion is don't do it now okay what do we have leadership all units in army fine discipline is absolute gold if you can have it good discipline i could recruit myself i have a saved discipline but i feel like level seven is, is a little bit too much so don't want to uh, confuse you and I could go Bagar, but I feel like not. Okay, three skeletons, we can recruit next turn one, we're gonna have exactly 20 units in a, in a bank, so that's fine. And... Yeah, we're gonna hit the heck out about Brotherhood, so don't bother with signing anything, and when it comes to this guy, obviously, hard to hit. That's it. Okay, Lamian Book is up. 
so we can choose one of the things. And to be honest, they're all good ish. The casualty replenish, wonderful. Research rate or amber success chance, all are good except these and this. Yeah, so Lamian and Blood Dragon are meh. Trigoy is good for amber success chance. So yeah, you may consider that a little bit later, but I would go for Damn it, I don't I don't I don't know. I'm always confused, but most likely research rate. Because it's gonna cut off uh, some stuff. Okay. I will not betray you. Yeah, we wanna go oh he's here. Okay, that doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, we're uh, go in the uh, channeling stance because you do need some magic after all. I hope they're gonna leave. This it's the first time I see them in settlement, to be honest. So it's kind of disturbed me. But yeah, nothing changed here. Set. Just wait for next turn, and we're gonna hit them. No matter if if it's Lord here. Terror guy is gonna be a bitch, but that's about it. Okay, this guy didn't move. Ooh, critical. Mm -hmm. Some DPS. I mean, hell yeah. Let's get these and these. Join war, I guess. Meh. So it's gonna cost you something, but overall, is it though? Like, so much crap. It's all mostly crap, and you have necromancers already attached, so you can stay in the blob and just fight. Even auto resolve is gener uh, generous, so whatever. It's really not that easy, uh, not that hard with vampire counts. Not gonna lie, this was hideous. One blob versus another, it took forever, but like I said, it wasn't very hard. And just subjugate. You're gonna get a unit replenishment, and you will have a bitch that will follow your orders. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're still getting attrition out of... Why do we get attrition? Probably because there is not enough um, corruption. Yeah, whatever. I mean, fine. It's alright. Yeah, Curse of Undead, definitely, and Raise Dead as well. Yes. Mm, Curse of Undead and mm, Nahak. Yeah, we want to have Nahak here on many as soon as possible. Next turn-ish. Okay, that's that's about it. Oh yeah, we can trade with them. <laughs> and that's what we should do, to be honest. They're gonna be useful, trust me. Scarbrand, uh, they're gonna soak 
a massive blow from Scarbrand, so you want to have them. And yeah, that's about it. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be well. Yeah, do this quest when you have Flying Mount on uh, Manfred. Trust me, it's gonna be such an easy quest. And where the hell is... Ooh, hello there, I... Vargulf. Bit pricey, but Vargulf. Oh boy, oh, daddy loves it. I mean, Vargolf, his leadership is trash. I can get hex rates. I mean, ugh. either hex rates or Vargolf, that's the thingy. Honestly, they're both suck. <laughs> Can't believe it, I'm saying that, but I'll take Crypt Goals. And just another Cav. Uh, corpse Cart is fine, but we're gonna get Corpse Cart easily, so don't bother. So yeah, I took another calf just to heal these and, and, and got another Crypt Goals because Crypt Goals are useful. Here, raise new, uh, newly, de newly dead because it helps. I mean, this is also fine, but yeah, the attrition is okay, but whatever. Yeah, Camry won't like you anyway, so... You may as well just get something out of it. Ark and the Black most likely survive if you don't kill him. <sighs> what a crap. But yeah, they have the Screaming Skull Catapult, which should not be a problem. It should not be any kind of problem. And obviously shifting sands. Tier 3. So this settlement is typical settlement for uh, skeletons. Which will have two blind spots, yeah. So it's gonna last a little bit longer this, this settlement fight because the skeletons, they're gonna shoot quite a lot. But we have summon, uh, by now we have summon zombies, so it's gonna be way, way easier. And what else? And we just need to soak Screaming Skull Catapults and rest should not be that hard. One of the best things you can do with some zombie summoned, summon it on top of enemy unit and let artillery hit them. I mean, yeah, it says it did 13,000 damage to my zombies, right? But, oh my god, the, the amount of friendly fire was insane. And, okay, bye. We got Camry and... Hey, money is finally on a mount. Yeah, that's fine. The heck, and... Some race dead. Yeah, we need race dead as much as possible because it's... <laughs> the 
It's such a cheesy ability. Oh my goodness. Okay, here. <clears throat> I'm not really sure because I mean, yeah, definitely in another race dev would be fine. However, life leeching would be good as well. I mean, all I want from purple, um, from shadow magic, is pretty much spirit leech and life leeching to kill, and maybe doom and dark. No, not not doom and dark. Soul blight. Soul blight is a really good ability. I I really like. Uh, when it comes to this, ancient cunning is majestic because it's that good. Wind of Death is always good, but then again, uh, now I need Ancient Cunning, because there will be some, you know, some uh, ambushing here, and I'd rather have it. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, oopsie. Uh, not big of a deal. Okay, that's pretty much it, so... Numas and Qatar, uh, Qatar are the last two, and then Scarbrand gonna be on our fucking ass. It's because Scarbrand is such an asshole. But doesn't matter, we gotta do it. Okay, so Camry decided to be a complete asshole. Oh, what a surprise. Okay, Casabar, can you def oh, come on. Okay, but no worry, we have a... This guy. And that's about it. Yeah. Fine. It's really not a problem at all. They never siege right away. So we'll have some time and we'll see if he goes back or just decide to go for me. Ooh, money. Money is good, but we do need some growth. But no, screw it. Let's go for some money. And let's go for some growth. To be honest, no money. <laughs> so we'll see what he does. I mean, normally he was stationary in Numas, so it's one of this way. No matter what you do, you're gonna claim victory in the end. What does my bloodline require? Okay. Destroy them. Here we go. Oh, I still have summoned this. Oh my goodness. Nice, but I don't have money, so let's make something good out of it. They have a lot of chariots, right? Hmm. Nah, I don't think I need much. I mean, I'll take crit goals. Come on, this is horseshit. The Tomb Swarm is, is the problem, but they will stand passive, so I think what I can do is bait Tomb Swarm. I'll spread my units and then put one on top of, on top of each other. Or zombies. Oh yeah, I'll summon zombies for that. So shouldn't be that hard. I could just auto, but I feel it's it's unfair.
Yes, I love Stuff of Damnation. It's such a good item. Oh my goodness. Okay, because I'm on a friendly territory, I'm gonna take Return Captives. But yeah, you can definitely bait some uh, some spells and Manfred and my hero got to beat the shit out of because... Oh, I got a student. Uh, because I was baiting the explosion from Cetra and it was worth, worth it because this explosion did nothing to my troops. That's why they are so healthy. At least them, right? Okay, Manny. Okay. Curse of... Yeah, Invocation of the Hack upgraded and Wind of Death upgraded. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Because I'll, I'll be able to heal for less. Which is good, because I do struggle with healing a little bit. It's a bit on the expensive side. Okay, Master of Dead upgraded. Here we go. I do need replenished troops though. Okay, Curse of Undead and I'll go for replenish here because I do need replenishment a lot. Okay, I can still recruit the, the, the good units, Bargoals and stuff, but obviously I'm not going to do it. Instead, what I'm going to do... Okay, this is still a friendly territory. Right. Okay. No, 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 no. These for crypt goals. Obviously, he has something, someone I'm gonna use for sure, but just, just not yet. Well, thank you for your service. I do need money, so yeah. Yeah, I still can recruit the good units. They're still in in recruitment pool. Okay, battle healing cup. Recruitment for spearmen. Yeah, let's, I guess, melee defense for zombie skeleton warriors and skeleton spearmen units. Yeah, this one is needed here. Greatly. Okay, now I need to go to Qatar. Oh, what the? I am Volkmar, the Empire's great oh, he's, he's hunting the... Oh, what a douchebag. But doesn't matter. Okay, uh, Bagar... Yeah, we got this, I think so. Volkmar won't declare war on me now. At least not yet. Because he's first of all need to deal with this... Uh, with these guys. Uh, Rakaf Dynasty. Usually he... he kills them pretty quick so and then they go for for sentinels as well so it's it's pretty safe to assume he won't attack us obviously it might go go wrong and it's gonna be terrible so you're surrounded by enemies what i'm trying to say so no matter what you do at some point you're gonna have to fight them all anyway so uh, okay, and I'm gonna go for casualty replenishment. Why my movement is so limited? Oh. Okay, uh, Black Knights, Blood Knights, I have so much stuff, and the Crit Horrors, Ooh, Crit Horrors is something I adore against infantry, because they smash them really hard. 
Uh, but I have nothing to trade for, so no. Gonna save some money, because clearly I do have problems. I'm not really... I'm not really uh, up for building Antoch, because uh, Orion's camp can decide to go for me. That's why I'm not doing anything. And yeah, Valkmar is going for Black Tower of Arkhan, so... Yeah, we're gonna have some time. Often, uh, Valkmar is fighting dwarves as well, so it's also very good. But for now, that's that's pretty much it. Nothing, nothing to do here. Yeah, let's just do it. Not gonna bother with anything here. Growth, perfect. Yeah, public order. Yeah, let's just get Bonds of Flesh. I mean, not really keen to do it, but then again, what else? I'm gonna have to do it anyway, so... It. Yeah, next turn, most likely Numas is mine, and, and, and that's it. So start saving money, because once this is up, we're gonna have some spendings. So yeah, that's it. Okay, Corrupted Village, Tier 2 Camry. Oh, come on. This is not cool. Okay, can you finally... Declare war on Cameron? Okay, wow. Finally. Yeah, they have a lot of trash here, but I still need to get them. Uh, what about here? So, I have a couple of options. I'm thinking about getting myself Banshee. But I definitely need walls here. Walls are crucial here at some point, because there will be so much... Bullshit. Then again, this is also good for money. Uh, White King, I have one, so this is useless for now. So either this or walls. And honestly, I'm gonna go for walls. Because I'm gonna suffer here a lot of attacks. Very, very soon. And that's it. I hope this ambush will actually work out, because... Ambush foiled? Oh. Okay, don't start technology if you're, if you're about to attack. Come on, they didn't even move. What a douchebag. Uh, they still have Tomb Swarm. So I'm gonna have to manipulate that a little bit, but... I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna do better if I'll go just manually. They do have some shooting though, so... He's not a caster. Yeah, I'm gonna do it manually. Camry is gone. We have a province. I lost. Oh, I didn't. I actually restore crypt goals. But a nice. But I don't want to wait that long. Okay, let's demolish this and this. And 
you can bait Tomb Swarm by dropping uh, by dropping zombies and just stepping with hero or lord anything on top of them. So so goddamn good. It's yeah, you should definitely do it because it's so broken. Okay, and now and now we gonna have quest battles to do. That's why I'm uh, restoring these guys a little bit so I can have you know units next turn because we're gonna do some quest battles definitely. Oh my god, it's gonna be glorious because these quest battles are so easy. It's actually a crime. It's that easy. They're so freaking. It's, it's such a crime. Okay, zombies plus twenty percent physical. I guess. Okay, so student necromancer banshee white king vampire. Okay, gonna run out of these things. So we need to watch out. Yeah, I wish to have a little bit more items. A little bit. Last time I had talisman of preservation. But that was good. Okay, but we have two full province. We'll accept these fuckers. But I can always break the, the vassalization and just break them. But at the moment, like I said, I'm keeping them per per with a purpose. Could give them... Nah. I mean, I could give them, sure. But I'd rather give them anything here. Okay, doesn't matter. Their aversion the is not that high, for you. so I can, I can do something about it. Cause I'm try, I'm gonna try to vassalize uh, dwarves. Cause imagine having artillery as vampire. It's gonna be glorious. I always do that. I always use iron drakes as a vampire count. Just need a little bit push. Nevertheless. Oh, Rakav Dynasty, no fucking way. Okay, right on cue. Bloody hands, okay. Uh, Scarbrand declared war on me. He got beat the shit out a little bit. I mean, why the fuck? My strength ranking is 1 fifth? Jesus, I'm so bad. I mean, because I'm using skeletons. Oh yeah, I love Great Guard with great weapons, because it's gonna be very good. Against what I need to. Do I? Yeah, let's do it. I have a good Winds of Magic, so it's perfect opportunity to do some quest battles. And both are recorded on my channel, so if you want to see what the fuck is going out there, you can easily do it. But for now, uh, Sword of Unholy Power is just, you need to kill shamans, it's quite easy. Just drop zombies on top of them and they just gonna unleash AoE. Wait till they blob and they, they uh, uh, AoE on themselves. And here, just drop zombies on artillery and they just gonna do it. It's fairly easy. Actually, this one is it's easier than, than the other one. Yep, let's do it. Yeah, mount... Oh, I didn't... Oh, I did recruit, okay. So, mounted the humans. That's it. Yep, that was super easy. Seriously. I, I just... Zombies are amazing, okay? As a... 
need shield and actually right now blocking force. So I got the armor of Templehof. Yeah, I need to fly. Yeah, I need to have lightning strike against Scarbrand. Because he's gonna just whack me so hard I'm gonna cry. But yeah. That the first battle was the armor of Temple Hall. <laughs> that was a freebie. Once Manfred is flying, I mean obviously it's level twelve quest. But yeah, he can do so so much there. I honestly uh, fought mostly, uh, mostly with Manfred and some uh, of our guys. But now let's do the second one. Sword of Unholy Power. It's gonna be as easy as the previous one. Ooh, Pyrrhic. Oh, well, despite all my effort, uh, Black Orcs were chopping my skeletons so hard I couldn't stop. Really, look, 300 kills. Fucking hell. They were killing these things so hard, I there was no stopping. So, yeah. Corpse Guard is... Okay, so, first Corpse Guard. I'm not gonna put on a Corpse Guard until it's actually benefiting me. I need to have a fast, um, someone fast on a horse to cast spells. And, yep, I'm gonna go for replenishment. I mean, I can replace what I lost, so it's not a biggie. Oh my god, Scarbrand's gonna cut me like a paper. Okay, so yeah, Scarbrand's gonna cut me like a paper. Nothing gonna last. I have at least 15 grand. So it's... Oh, I can get another blood kiss, which I will for Amber Success Trans. And honestly, I'm gonna go right away to replenish my reinforcements. Because I might get attack immediately. And 10 grand. Okay, so. Which one of you I should get? Three goy. No, I'm gonna get this one. Strike out! Bring me flesh to craft. Okay. What? Next turn, I'll start moving towards uh, Qatar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna start to uh, moving towards Numas. So, all I need to do is repel Scarbrand once, just get his shit out of here, and we should be fine. Talk if you must. It won't change your fate. And then I can, like, think about, like, trading some settlements or just crushing them whenever I want. Okay, so that was event. I choose growth over control. And I think control is still fine. <laughs> Ready. Ready. Okay, and here. 
Yeah, maybe I should move a little bit closer. The problem is not getting... It's not about... Oh, God. It's not about getting the settlement. It's about where the hell they are. Because that's the biggest issue here. I think if I'll trade a couple of settlements, the mountains one, I can have a good deal with dwarves if it's needed. For now, however, uh, plus eight capacity. No, let's go for skeletons. Just improve them a little bit. And again, yeah, let's go for money, to be honest, because I'll need some money extra, and we'll see how it goes. Bring me flesh to craft. The Queen of Tides! I'm Scryer. Hmm. No time. Experiments, yes. Ready to throw... It's okay to be an ally to Sklanscryer, because we're evil. Oh yeah. I will not. Okay. Camry, 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 and let's go for growth. <sighs> Disciplined. Oh my goodness. I mean, next turn I'll be able to recruit it here, so just wait. But discipline, save discipline whenever you find one. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Oh my goodness. Blue then occupy because screw them. I need money. Okay. Malagor is still up, okay. Okay, where is it? 56, so he's not really strong as well, so it's it's weird mix of situation here. But yeah, Scarbrand is gonna probably gonna go back here, so it's good to do something about it. For now, however, I'm not gonna bother to buy anything here. Lightning strike. Walls. I'm really afraid to leaving this territory like that. So. You're not welcome, so I won't pretend otherwise. Damn. I could get some money out of them. Yeah, I'll do it next turn. Because it's tier 2. Oh, okay, so... What? Yeah, gonna use some crap against Scarbrand, but for now... That's pretty much it. It's the 15 turns. So plan is to, like I said, cripple Scarbrand enough, and then just turn back and start clearing everything at the back. I might just trade some settlements to dwarves, for now at least, so they will protect my guts from uh, north. 
and then I'll clear everything here and we'll see what else I can do. Mostly I'm afraid of Kairos because Kairos won't be friendly. A version minus 100. So Kairos is gonna be hell to fight as Vampire Counts. That's why I need to just focus on getting books. I could... Oh uh, yeah, followers of Nagash. Uh, well, doesn't matter. It's gonna be interesting. Definitely get more heroes. Definitely get everything more. And make money. Because you're gonna need it. I'm gonna record it on turn 50 and see what I've learned. So, yeah. Here we are, it's turn 50 and... <laughs> okay, there is a lot to talk about. First of all, I don't like fight wars against like Teclis or Kairos. That's why I have so many vassals. I literally vassalize all of them. By trading some settlements when you get the peace treaty, you can actually get a vas vice a vassalization. So I got everyone around me. Got Bretonia, got the, the minor vampire fraction, got the tomb kings, got the dwarfs, lizard men, and lizard men. I even got green skin. Warzak is in my stables. And Scrag. This is so fucked up. I just can't believe it. You're not well. Yeah, it's so messed up. It's it's actually. Oh wait, they're not a war. Oh, interesting. Oh yes, Carbon declared well war late. So I won't pretend otherwise. Weird. No matter. So, a couple of tips. You can va vassalize a lot of people. You can vassalize loads of people and you're gonna benefit that from that so greatly, it's insane. This is my main army on Manfred. I added the Mortis engine because, hey, Mortis engine is cool. Uh, black, this item is so Fucking amazing. More or less you get infinity winds of magic with it. More or less. But it's amazing. As you can see, 50 turns is not enough to me level up. Uh, what I achieved was a short victory. And was a short victory achieved. Which gave me a casualty replenish 15%. Oh, winds of magic. Ugh. So, yeah, it, it wasn't like massively hard. And I have only one book. The other book is in Skaven Blight, which I'm going for. About rest. Uh, let me start with these bloodlines. I found this one to be the most valuable. Vampiric Corruption, eh. Uh, diplomatic relations with Empire, but crossbowmen, handgunners, this also crap. So this one is absolutely the best one. Uh, because you're gonna build a lot of growth buildings and unlock a lot of necromancers, I highly recommend to send and do some agent actions, which I usually don't do, but it's quite... Uh, Quite good to have a research rate, extra research rate. Plus 35%, oh my god, that's so good. So, uh, you can cut off with some agent action, like a turn of uh, technology. So, yeah, I definitely up went for upkeep. Most of my lords... Okay, how many armies I have? I have five lords. My armies, as you're gonna see are not impressive. 
this army is actually just trash to go for Nook. Because someone have to Nook it, right? Okay, so my armies are are not really that great. And here's the reason. I did not build almost any military building at all. I'm building the buildings, military buildings that provide me heroes. That's it. Because often you have uh let's get let's get something cheap. Oh yeah. Okay, this this isn't impressive, but you have such a rich if you fight uh, you have a rich uh, raised dead pool. You don't need military buildings. Focus on money. I'm good with money, right? It's not crazy. I would have more if I claimed all this. Right? It would be definitely better for me. But then I would have to fight my uh, battles. It's pretty much the same mechanic as you do with Warriors of Chaos. Your vassals do your job. Against Kairos sending vassals, it's so valuable. I mean, first of all, they need to get beat the shit out, but it's not a problem, right? Um, I was, I, I actually used a situation because dwarves were fighting lizardmen, so I first of all, yeah, I reclaimed Karakzorn, and for Karakzorn, they were just giving me everything I want. So, trading settlements is a big, big thing. Okay, uh, let's go for Lords. When I go for Blue Line, I reduce upkeep. Uh, if, if I went for Blue Line, right? Which, I didn't go that much. Always something, right? But I didn't go crazy for it. And almost ev every army have at least two Necromancers. Because it's a very good option to have a lot of uh, raised uh, deads. Uh, I mean, summons su ghouls. I mean, raised dead, yeah. Summons the zombies. Such a, for a cannon fodder is such a good way to do it. You know, some extra meat shield to protect you. And Mortis Engine. I did not build any building to get Mortis Engine. But oh my god, Scarbrand was such a fucking pain. And Mortis Engine, eat him up. Oh, these guys are a little bit too close in my face. Oh, Nimrick. Another one to vassalize. So, 50 turns. I mean, I first... I had such a blast here. But back to the... Because I digress. I mostly research... Uh, technologies for... This is important. But mostly for upkeep uh, reduction. Well, it wasn't like crazy, but I got the most valuable at the early stages of a game, which are obviously skeletons. Um, where is the upkeep reduction? Upkeep for crypt goals and crypt horrors. They're very crypt goals are very good units, so I highly recommend upkeep for morn goals, ham rates, and hex rates. Is also very good to have, uh, despite not having. But this battle healing cap for crypt ghouls and crypt horrors. Oh my god, this is so good. Crypt ghouls are stalking unit. You can use that. Uh, this, like I said, amazing. Um, yeah, probably this would be good if I just want to. Terrorgeist, if you get Terrorgeist, it's such a good tool to burn ammo. Oh my god. I've burned so much ammo with just one terror guys because it's region on its own so it, it's one of the best units against Isles. <laughs> but yeah, I started to focus a little bit here. Mm. Not much to be honest, but again, it's mostly for heroes, lords, just, just nothing crazy. So 50 turns after all. So this one is the best because these units you're going to use the most. So giving them statistics up makes you tougher overall. Uh, yeah, no military buildings. Look at my provinces. 
mostly they are growth, I mean necromancer and growth, some resources, money for this case, hero building, hero building, and money. Uh, this one is because, yeah, I'm, I'm against uh, Clan Mors and I want to have some discovered. Plus, I didn't really have anything to build here. Because I don't need military buildings. I mean, at this stage, it's just not needed. Uh, Sartosa, I mean, having a lot of vassals will give you a lot of enemies. Because you're not going to get uh, liked by people because... Vassals from different look vassals hate me anyway <laughs> They hate my guts, but I just you know have I uh, They're mine. They're mine. Look. Oh, this is actually crap Yeah, gift given uh, past treaties Just treaties 100. Yeah, dwarves got it fucking hates me so much These not look at this. This is like minus 500 It's Unrepairable relations and military actions against war gifts given. Yeah, just just so much. Oh, holy shit, a thousand negative. So you're gonna get hate by people around you, but while you have vassals and they get stronger over time, you don't have to worry. I mean, problem here is that. These guys are kind of low. I mean, tier 5 building, but they're not recruiting anything, like, important. I mean, Stegadons now, I see. But so far, I didn't saw them recruiting any Stegadons. Just Bastilladon at the best. This as well. What the fuck is this? Like, wow. What a great army, right? Same here. So, AI is not putting anything, like, crazy valuable, which is a shame when they're on your side. Look, what the hell is this? It's like garbage. And yet, they're claiming stuff from uh, from Teclas. Like, wow. This, this is gonna fall. Ish. It's a good situation if you want to claim some heroes, because they might have heroes. and So your vassals need some buildings. It's also important. That's why she has uh, this and I gave her Desert of Araby because that was the price for vassalization. I don't feel like it's a valuable ally, but every ally counts after all because it's a need you want to send against somebody. I could do the same thing against uh, Ikid Claw once I get Skaven Blight for the book. So, yeah, it's it's gonna look like this overall. No military buildings, focus on money. Uh, when it comes to magic, winds of the wind of death is broken. Come on, wind of death is crazy. And if you have a necromancer lord, don't put him on corpse card. Just hellsteed is fine. But make sure you get the vampire lords because zombie dragon is very good dragon, very good mount overall. Uh, even Strigoi is not bad if you fight with the uh, Crypt Ghouls, so it's not a bad idea. Boosting income is not something crazy, but at some point you have too many points to spend. And Gaze of Nagash and Van Hilden's Macabre is something I don't even use. Curse of Years I'm using because it's a, a AoE effect and I love it. Just I can fight much, much more. Yeah. I don't think I can tell you much more about it because just... If you don't want to vassals, just fight your way. Claim this territory and, and you're gonna make more money, but overall you're gonna struggle more. You're gonna have to pay attention to many, many things I don't have to. And I'm not really cheesing, I'm just using mechanic in a game which is trading settlements and, and you know... Like I said, Techless, I, I got one, like one battle against him, like a big one here, uh, on Sun Tree Glades, and from that I never bother because my 
my uh, vassals are fighting. At some point, I did. I I just nuked Scarbrand at some point and and left him for Wurzak and others. So if you want to have some kind of slaves, I mean slaves, I mean people that will do your work for you, you should get vassals. You can always, you know, cancel a vassal Only treaty, I mean so vassal I pact, happy. and just claim it if you want. It shouldn't hurt you. Let me look. Can I? Onward. Unbending. By the yeah, you can. You've got some gore and you don't lose reliability, so... What's up? It's fine. Uh, and you can just claim them, so... I suggest to get your vassals if you can, and then claim territory as you're pleased. Uh, books, yeah, they're important, but... You can rush or just I did enjoy this campaign more than I anticipated because I hate vampires for teasing stuff. I mean for playing one way, which is oh you need to spam zombies or skeletons. That was the old ways. Now you don't have to. I actually spam creep goals quite a lot because I like them. And yeah, this army is pretty much what I started with. Some exceptions like these I gave the uh, Graveguard with uh, armor piercing, because why not? These were the start ones. Some of them I recruited at the start. Skeletons at the start. These are at the start. So, yeah, it's... And I didn't have problems uh, with it, so I never changed it. Don't have many heroes. One Banshee, two uh, white, uh, white Knights. Banshee is not... It's actually essential for increased mobility, but it's tier of tier three, three, tier four. If you want to have increased capacity, so it's it's not everywhere. I could actually start demolishing walls because what's gonna happen? And I think that's it. I don't need to tell you anything. Black Pyramid of Nagash is a good place to be. Actually, I can I can demolish walls here, so I can get the Vault of Nagash, which is spell resistance to all armies plus ten percent. Hell yeah! Winds of Magic, Income, Vampiric Corruption, which is actually something we want to have. I don't know. This campaign was actually easier and much more fun than I thought. So I hope you're going to enjoy it as I much as I did. You don't have to copy my way. But it's going to make your life easier. Like, dwarves at the start didn't like me. So I juggled some of these settlements here. Traded. Even gave him Zandri, Pool of Despair and Al Kalabad. And then later, when they lost stuff, I was like Karagzorn. Vassalization. And El Kalabat or Zandri or anything. So I was getting it back, but with much profit because I get so much money for settlement trading. And I understand why people are uh, advocates to like nerf it or remove it from a game. Because honestly, trading settlement makes this game easier, but also much more enjoyable. Because you don't get like, oh, let's say I get the settlement like fucking nowhere and it's like one settlement is gonna revolt if I abandon I'm gonna get minus public relations everywhere so it's 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 actually a problem well now I trade settlement which I, I actually love this option that's why I don't I hope they won't remove it you can get so much work done by just trading settlement so yeah I rate this campaign quite high. I think it's an enjoyable campaign with all DLCs, of course. I don't think there was one. Yeah. Uh, 
definitely it's good to have some artillery if you Oh yeah, I lost two because I cancelled vassalization. But yeah, Mortis engine makes fighting so much more fun against Blob. I mean, because if you don't have Mortis engine and Blob fighting, it's tedious. It's gonna take you some time to get powerful. So at the start, you're gonna have to fight Blob versus Blob. And this is not really fun time. This is my only concern when it comes to about this campaign because yeah, undead fighting like crap, it takes forever. And it's pretty much every battle looks the same. At some point, why I didn't change army? Because I win most fights with just many. With Manfred spamming zombies, spells, some maybe some bar guys. And that's about it. So hmm. At some point, you're gonna just win battles with Lord Heroes, some single entity. That's it from me today. I hope it was useful. I hope you like it. If yes, please leave a like. And that would, if you can subscribe, that would be amazing because I'm struggling. I'm a struggling YouTuber and I wanna get some money out of it because. I need this money. I really don't have income in my life because I'm disabled. So you could help me if I break the thousand uh, subs. You could help me a lot. And yeah, I hope it, it actually helps you somebody. This, this video takes some time because first of all, I need to play it a couple of times to discover what to do and predict a couple of things and then play to turn 50 to share my knowledge I gathered through the uh, playthrough. So, yeah. I like to do it, so I hope someone likes it too. Thank you for watching. Good luck with the campaign. Have fun and take care and bye-bye.